One more macro question. We're seeing in industrial a asset class that's probably more affected by macro factors than others, global trade. And so a couple of things happening out there that I just want to mention to you and would like to get your reaction to how important these are, not only to your day-to-day -day business, but the industry over the next uh, decade. Uh, the widening of the Panama Canal, uh, the U.S. dollar strengthening, which we talked about, trade with Mexico and Canada, the, quote, reshoring of manufacturing. And I note that Volvo recently announced a new plant in South Carolina, mm -hmm. which is going to add about 4,000 jobs. How important are these factors today and tomorrow? I think they're all important factors. They really are tangible con contributors to the uh, asset class. The Panama Canal, when that opens, is going to really bring a lot of volume to the uh, east, or east Coast ports. Port of Houston will benefit from the Panama Canal. We're also seeing what you talked about with Mexico uh, manufacturing you know, if, if, at the expense of China. So now Mexico, it's, if anything that's big and bulky, uh, appliances, automobiles certainly, uh, it's difficult and expensive to ship those from China. And, and actually the labor differential is not as significant as it was in the past. And those big items need to be stored in warehouses on, on the U.S. border cities. El Paso right now is one of the best markets in the country from a fundamentals perspective. Very low vacancy and uh, rental rates are growing. We're seeing the same thing in South Texas, uh, Southern California. So what you're talking about is very real. And what's more important is that all the institutional investors we deal with, they read all those types of supply chain articles. I mean, they may be flying across the country reading financial magazines, but they're also reading all about industrial real estate and other reports and periodicals.